Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, I was thinking that I did not uh, tune around the Hangrangda 747 on medium wave and I thought that it'd be an interesting test to do. So we're going to tune around with the Hangrangda 747, HRD 747 wideband receiver, what they call kind of a scanner basically. Um, and of course I told you that shortwave performance AM international broadcast band was decent, but for the rest, it's a uh, crappy little radio. VHF, UHF is not sensitive. Only the strongest signals get through. And uh, single sideband is a nightmare to tune to get the proper voice. Uh, all of that make this little radio a do not buy. But let's check its performance on the medium wave. Let's we'll see how it goes. So we're tuning one kilohertz steps. And we'll see. So I'm uh, supposed to be using the internal ferrite. So it's got the uh, 600 kilohertz joke station in Montreal. Which is supposed to be news, but it's uh, actually uh, a uh, music station. Filters are pretty wide. Definitely not a good radio on medium wave. It doesn't even receive uh, WFAN, which is New York, and usually comes in quite well. So, so this is the uh, sports station, 690. Seven. Seven thirty is the uh, local news uh, traffic station. WCBS New York on seven seven zero. This is uh, CJAD 800 Montreal. You can see how the automatic gain control on this radio is like non-existent almost. As uh, usually when you put the volume high, um, weak stations and, and local stations have pretty much the same level. Uh, here it's like it blasts on strong stations and it actually is very weak on stations that are almost inaudible. Friday night against the Mariners. 
Now, the Rangers, they'll try and stay alive to force a game seven of their first round series with the Penguins Friday night in Pittsburgh. Down three games to two, and goalie Igor Shesterkin. The finalist for the Hart Trophy, NHL's most valuable player. And the NFL's fall schedule's out. And that was WCBS New York. Pulls in the strongest of all, but look at that. This is this radio's death. Forty local station. So I'm really trying to talk to people about how we can address the climate crisis, make life more affordable, and create new career better job opportunities. If I remember correctly, and I might not have seen that you can school leader, uh, but when you made your announcement about the skilled trades, uh, you talked about training and tuition, but it was, am I correct, it was one year tuition and one year apprenticeship? What kind of trades were you doing? Cedar CFRB at WINS. WBZ in Boston. Volkswagen for a number of uh, European cars. I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of them. Twelve ten in uh, Philadelphia. Families, the most sophisticated heart team in America. Innovators in research and patient care who've made life better for thousands of patients, raising the standard for the next generation of care. The local station here in Montreal. And I 
I think the only reason they know it is because they need it to be able to get the election results that they want this fall, and they think that convincing America that we're going to go through something, and they're going to predict six months into the future. Now, when is a six-month prediction on COVID actually turned out to be anywhere near? Local station in Montreal. This is a local Arabic station in Montreal. station up in uh, Laval, just up northwest of here. 1580. CKDO in Ontario. Local Haitian station. Local whatever station. <laughs> Cardia University Station of Montreal. And that's pretty much it as we end at 1710 kilohertz. So it gets medium wave, but if you compare that to even a uh, Texan PL330, uh, it's in, in it really really is, isn't sensitive on medium wave. Uh, misses out on so many stations. It seemed that what I'm noticing when I'm tuning is that it's more sensitive on the higher part of the medium wave band than it is on the bottom part. So uh, the first uh, the first 100 or 200 kilohertz, you know, it's like from 520 to about 5 uh, to about 800 kilohertz is, is deaf almost. Gets the local stations and the strongest. Doesn't even get WFAN 660. That isn't, that's not a good thing. Once again, proving that the Unrongda HRD747 is pretty much a crappy radio to avoid. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, thank you for watching.